The Mkonto Oesizwe Military Veterans Association feels former President Jacob Zuma is being targeted. It's previously accused the Zondo Commission of being a dictatorship. It's also called for the Constitution to be amended as it believes it gives too much power to the judiciary. State Capture Inquiry Chair Justice Raymond Zondo has called for former President Jacob Zuma to be imprisoned for defying the Commission. And yesterday, Zuma's trial date related to arms deal corruption was set down for May. MKMVA spokesperson Carl Nihaus joins me now live very good morning to you firstly what is your response to that may date it's finally going to go ahead good morning well we sincerely hope that the trial will now go ahead we've had a number of postponements which had absolutely nothing to do with president zuma in fact president zuma kept on saying that he's ready but the npa has not been ready all right, tell us through some of the comments you've been making on Twitter recently calling uh, a judiciary dictatorship happening in this country. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, I think it's quite obvious, Jane. It refers to the fact that we've seen Mr. Justice Zondu rushing to the Constitutional Court while President Zuma still had an application with regards to his refusal to recuse himself at the High Court. We have then seen Mr. Justice Zondu once again rushing to the Constitutional Court, now asking for President Zuma to be imprisoned, while it is evident that in terms of the law with regards to commissions, Mr. Justice Zondu doesn't have the legal rights to do so. This is a very serious situation where we consistently have seen the judiciary targeting President Zuma it is both with regards to the Zondu Commission and also with regards to the trial that President Zuma is being subjected to that you have just referred to. And well, the well, what postponements... option does this leave uh, Justice Zondu? Though? I mean, the president, the former president, is to appear before him and yet he's refusing to. He's given him an option, either appear or go to prison for two years. What's it going to be? Well, Jane, that is obviously the kind of narrative that many people would like to peddle. But the reality is that President Zuma still has an outstanding appeal with the High Court. The reality also is that President Zuma is absolutely prepared to appear in front of the Commission of Inquiry into State Capture, but he has raised serious concerns about the biasness of the chair and have requested the chair to recuse himself. So let us not say that President Zuma is not prepared to appear in front of the State Capture Commission. Okay, let, let me let ask you this, Carl. I mean, bias or not, perceived bias or not, why doesn't he just appear before it? If there's something wrong, if he's in the clear, let him put his case forward. Then we can all know what it is that he wants to talk about or explore. Why doesn't he just go? Jane, that is a simplistic narrative, but I'm sure if you were in the shoes of President Duma, you would have had a very serious problem if there was a biased judge chairing the commission in which you have to appear. Secondly, I think you've only got a problem if you've got something to hide, possibly. Court, can I just uh, finish the last point I was going to make? The Constitutional Court then rules to take a right that President Zuma and all of us as citizens should have and that is the right to remain silent and not to incriminate yourself away from President Zuma. We have serious undermining of the Constitution, of the basic principles that should protect all of us here in this situation. And it is in that context that President Zuma had said that he cannot see his way open to appear in front of the Commission under these circumstances because he himself has contributed hugely, and I don't think you will challenge that, to the creation of our democratic state. And he cannot be part and participate in the erosion of the rights that have been enshrined in mm. our constitution. All right, we know that the Big Six is going to be heading over to speak to Zuma. What's that conversation going to entail? We know that uh, possibly they want to convince him that he must go. Will it work? Jane, I do not know what the national office bearers of the African National Congress will say to President Zuma. I can only tell you what President Zuma told the National Executive Committee 
of the African National Congress, says MKMVA, of MKMVA. And MKMVA understood clearly from President Zuma that he is not going to attend the commission under the current circumstances. So I cannot speak for the NEC or the ANC, but I can only share with you what President Zuma shared with the MKMBA NEC, and I haven't seen anything happen in the time since we've been there that probably will change his mind. In fact, the kind of manner in which the Commission and specifically Mr. Justice Zondu behaved on Monday when they then issued that specific request from the Constitutional Court to now imprison President Zuma can only strengthen the positions that he shared with us. At yes, least that there. is my belief. Colney House, thank you.